Okay, so today we are going to show you how you can gain extra storage space on your Google Photos cloud storage for absolutely nothing. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we are going to show you how you can gain extra space on your Google storage. Now, normally when you first join Google, everybody gets 15 gigabytes of free storage. Now, if you've got an Android device, an Android phone or an Android tablet, when you take photos on that, it's usually set up so that it backs up those photos to the cloud. Now, those photos eat away at your cloud storage space. Now, once you get close to 15 gigabytes, Google will start prompting you to buy storage. Now the Google storage isn't that expensive, but why not make the most out of the 15 gigabytes you get free of charge? This can really, really make a difference. And in some cases it can actually double that storage. So I should say, first of all, you can't do this on a phone or a tablet. You need to go to the Google Photos website. So you need to do this on a computer. You can do this on a PC, a Mac, a Linux machine, I believe a Chromebook, but as long as it's not a mobile device because you need to get to a certain setting. So what I would say is open your browser, go to photos.google.com, sign in to your Google account if it asks you, and then once you're here, you need to go up to the cog in the top right hand corner of the screen and then left click once. Then you need to make sure here that backup quality for photos and videos is set to storage saver, i.e. there is a blue dot just to the left of storage saver. If not, if it's if the blue dot is next to original quality, then just click just in the little circle next to storage saver. Now, this means that your photos and videos will be stored at a slightly reduced quality. Now, this doesn't mean to say that the photos and videos are gonna look awful, but they are gonna be slightly compressed. So it means that if you were thinking of blowing a picture up or playing a video on a massive screen, then obviously you'd want it at original quality. But if you're just gonna be flipping through it on your computer screen or your phone or your tablet screen, Storage Saver is perfectly adequate. But what about all the photos and videos that we have taken already and have in Google? They're probably gonna be stored at original quality, full size. So what we can do is we can click on manage storage just here and we can go down, just scroll down and go down to here where it says recover storage. And it says here, convert existing photos and videos to storage saver. So basically the photos and videos that you've already put on Google storage, it's gonna go through them. And if they are in original quality, it's going to reduce them down to storage saver quality. As you can see here, I've got 4.3 gigabytes worth of large photos and videos. And down in the bottom right hand corner, my total Google Cloud Storage, I've used 11.3 gigabytes out of my 17 gigabytes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Learn More, just to the right of Convert Existing Photos and Videos to Storage Saver. And then I'm gonna read this, so it basically says here, recover storage, recover some storage by switching existing photos and videos when possible from original quality to storage saver quality. So you can click on learn more there if you wanna find out more about storage saver quality before you do it. So I'd, I'd strongly recommend have a look through that first of all, okay? So it says here, doesn't affect items stored or added elsewhere on Google, such as Gmail, Google Drive, or YouTube. Some items backed up on Pixel devices may not be affected. So it says here, you've got a little checkbox just to the left of, I understand that compressing my existing photos and videos cannot be undone. So I've got to stress that. 
if you do compress them, you can't uncompress them later on. So if you're happy to try and save some storage space on Google Photos, then click on the box just to the left of, I understand that compressing my existing photos and videos cannot be undone. And then move your mouse over, compress existing photos and videos, left click that, and that will go away. And as you can see here, it says compressing. This may take several hours. So you can walk away from this now. You can actually come off of this website. You can close it down because everything's being done in the background. But like it says, it can take several hours hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video, okay, and we're going to come back to it once it's finished compressing and see what the difference is. Now, on mine, the difference might not be that great because all throughout my Google Photos lifetime, I have had it set on Storage Saver. But recently, in the past few days, I've taken some photos and videos just for the purpose of this video and saved them in full quality. Okay, so while it's actually compressing those photos, let's go to our mobile devices and check the settings in Google Photos on them. So let's just open up the Google Photos app. And what we need to do is we want to tap our initial that's in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then we want to go into photos settings just down there and then go into backup. And then we need to scroll upwards and here under settings, we've got backup quality. So at the moment, my phone, every time I take a video or a picture, it will save it in Google Photos in the original quality. Therefore, it will take up the maximum amount of space on Google Photos. It will take the maximum out of my 15 gigabytes of free storage space. So what I want to do is I want to tap on backup quality and I want to change that to storage saver. So let's just have a look what original quality quality means. So original quality is back up with no change to quality. Photos and videos are going to be stored on the Google Cloud in full resolution, taking up the maximum amount of space. If this is recommended if you're going to print your photos and they're going to be in large print. So let's just have a look at what Storage Saver is or how they're describing Storage Saver. So store more at slightly reduced quality. Photos compressed to 16 megapixels, which is still a good good high quality. Videos are compressed to high definition. So unless you need the video stored on the cloud in high def in larger than high definition, then that's fine. And it allows you to produce good quality prints up to 24 by 16 inches. So if you're happy with that, then select storage saver. So I'm going to tap select and then I'm going to press the back button just there at the top left hand corner of the screen. And then I'm just going to make sure that under backup quality, it now reads storage saver. So let's just press the back button, back button again. And there we go, we can come out of Google Photos. Now you need to do this on every device that you've got Google Photos installed on. OK, so I've left this for a few hours. I've come back to it and Recover Storage has gone back to convert existing photos and videos to Storage Saver. And if I have a look in the bottom left hand corner, I've only now used 8.8 .8 gigabytes of storage compared with the 11.3 gigabytes of storage that I had earlier. So therefore, I've recovered two and a half gigabytes of storage. So that is about 16 and a half, just over 16 and a half percent of my space that I've recovered. Now you can go further into it. You can look at this review and delete section, go into blurry photos, go into large photos and video screenshots and other apps, and just see if there are any extra photos you can get rid of in there. Likewise, you can also go to through your photos and videos and see if there are any photos or videos that you don't want to keep. In particular, it's a good idea to go through any videos because videos take up a lot more space than photos. So have a go at this if you want and let us know in the comments down below how much you've actually ended up saving by going through these tips and tricks on how to free up as much space as you can in Google Photos to make the most of the 15 gigabytes of free storage that you get. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down 
down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.